All right, dude. I, I got one for you. Go for it. Dead or alive, who would you have coffee with? Huh. Three seconds. Three, two, Hold on. one. My turn. Barack Obama. That's a good one. That was a good one. I think Obama would be like, you know what? Let me try something on your menu. That's a little cream. Is, is that <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone who's not alive. Um, Oprah. Oprah? Mm -hmm. Someone. <laughs> you said not alive. What? I know, that's not possible. Hey y'all, we are at Nosa Familia. Yes! It's yes. on Seven Corners. Seven Corners is this really interesting area in Portland where you've got a lot of shops, but some of the best coffee in Portland you'll find. And I'm so excited about this because I drink a lot of coffee apparently that I didn't realize I was drinking. I was noticing I, I drink a lot of coffee every week. So let's try, let's try some of this. All right. Hey, hey welcome in y'all. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. I told my good friend that you make coffee. We might. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I get y'all started with? Mm. Mm. Don't be basic. Latte. Don't be basic. I see beasting latte. What's that? Beasting latte? Yeah, that's like our fan favorite. It's going to be a honey latte with our Bogo Spice powder. Let's do it. Let's can, do can it. Can I do it with oat milk? Yeah, totally. Okay. And then I'm going to do the cortado. Cortado? Yeah. It looks like cortado. It's fancy for a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Cortado, yeah. All right, All right. we'll get All this right. started for you. Thank you. Oh, hey guys. Oh, oh. Hey, I got a beasting latte here. Oh, look at this. Yes. Yes. We, we have some, we have some artistes yeah. over there, and this is a cortado. All right. And I hear you guys are from Reed College. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks for visiting. So this is your family business, right? It is, yeah. yeah tell me about it, how'd you get started? Um, I got started because I was sick of being an engineer. I wasn't very good at it. And I kept thinking, what can I do that will get me back home to Brazil more often? Uh, my family has been growing coffee in Brazil for over 100 years, 130 years since the 1890s. And I thought Portland needs more coffee. Portland, and, uh, Portland needs your coffee. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Coffee was my way of bridging my two worlds, it. my two lives, and this was just an extension of showcasing mm -hmm. what my family does in Brazil and uh, you know helping make the world a little bit of a smaller place. All his face buds are going off right now. You can tell. <laughs> What is this? What made you put cayenne in coffee? So uh, we every so often hold internal competitions. And so first we came up with the Mocha Fogo, which one is one we should try, <laughs> which is a spicy mocha. I love the coffee and I love the spice, mm -hmm. but it's surprising. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of like little fireworks cool in my mouth cool are going part, on. Though. That's mm -hmm. the cool part, is like, it's surprising. But I mean, we have coffee, you're not drinking any coffee. I mean, is there anything you love or anything you do special here? Yeah, so there's a few things I'd love to introduce you to. Let me get some drinks for you guys. Okay, yeah, awesome. that sounds great. How do you make your coffee if you're um, making it at home? From a pod. <laughs> Come on now. You just said that's not real I know, coffee. I, and how do you make yours? <laughs> I, I told you to pod. Okay. But you know what? I've even got a, a pod in my office. I know you do. Because when I, I, I avoided it for so long. You have an espresso yes. pod. And I was like, I'm not doing that. And then I did it. I'm like, I'm always doing that. Cheers. I didn't start drinking coffee until late in life. And I was like, where have you been? <laughs> and I've missed you and I didn't know it yet. I didn't have consistently excellent coffee yeah. until I came here. Even on campus, the coffee yeah. is excellent. The students spend a lot of time they figuring do. out how to make a really good product. True. You know, we have people that come in and go there just for the coffee. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's a good place to be and to be in That's company. True. That is true. Gentlemen, here we go. This Ooh. is the cafezinho. Cafezinho. 
Brazilians have a sweet tooth, and so Ooh. it's a little bit like a Cubano. Um, so our, our take on it's a very strong cup. So it's an espresso uh, with a little bit of water and then uh, a packet of raw sugar. All right. Yes. How is it? Oh, it's great. One of the things that uh, I think is really important in coffee is, is not to judge. There's no right or wrong with coffee, you know? I maybe, just had someone tell me that. Yeah, you know, like... Oh. It, it, it maybe, mean. maybe, <laughs> maybe at your grandma's it's Folgers, and I wouldn't drink that. But if it's your grandma's house, that's what you know. It's the experience, and it's who you're, you're with. So this is Ooh. the Mocha Fogo. Okay, you know I got to get a photo. Uh, yeah, yeah, and this, this is a house uh, whipped cream, which Ooh. is uh, we throw a shot of espresso in the whipped cream Ooh. and chocolate. That's like, you can eat it with a spoonful. Yes. So to brew coffee, it, it, it's it's more of a science than it is art. Oh, you like that whipped cream, huh? Ooh. Yeah. For real? Okay. Yeah. See, I'm gonna try the, the separate part. So this yeah. is the whip. The whip cream, yeah. Cream. Oh, it smells oh. good. It Isn't that good? So good. That yeah. is real good. Yeah. How is it? It's amazing. Did you get the spice at the end? Oh yes. Yeah. To complement all of this yeah. is we have our take on the Brazilian pão de queijo. Uh, pão de queijo translates into bread of cheese. We adapted it and we now call it a, a Brazilian cheese waffle. So it is a savory waffle that's cheesy on the inside and just delectable. Would you like to try one? Yes, yeah. I would. Yeah. So this is the Brazilian cheese waffle Ooh. and uh, so it is really hot, but and it's super cheesy. So it, like, I'll oh, let wow. it cool first. Yeah. Oh, um, look at just the. Is it just made of cheese? No. So the cool thing is, uh, it's uh, a few different cheeses, um, and then there's eggs, and it's uh, tapioca flour. Oh. So the tapioca flour has some of that stretchiness yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. And it um, and it's gluten free. Yeah. Just naturally That's what gluten free. I was say. So I got gluten free pad thai. Oh, that looks actually okay. delicious. Yes, and it's gluten all yada yada. You can enjoy it plain, uh, oh. or you can add some jam to it. I so for the savory sweet. Yes, I'm gonna try it both ways. Me too. Mmm. This is unlike anything I've ever had, and it's delicious. Isn't it? How do you like it with the jam? Amazing. It's great yeah. both ways. The hard part is that there's so many different styles and different ways to make a coffee. I mean. Yeah, it is hard to become a barista. Yeah, it's, uh, it, well, it, you know, we can go back there and you can quickly push some buttons and make your own coffee, but... You said we could do what? Oh yeah, you want to go back there and then take a, take okay, a shot? Okay, let's coffee? do it. All right, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, 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 uh. This is Haley. She's going to be teaching you and demonstrating how to make a uh, latte, mm -hmm. a small latte, and then we'll each have you make one. All right. You know, I'm always the winner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think would win between me and you? <laughs> I'm going to say you. So we have our portafilter. The big thing is just to make sure it's all dry before you put any grounds in it. We have automatic grinders here, so all you do is put that in and press the tube. And we have a distributor, and then we have the tamp. You twist lock it up there, and then press it up. That just pulls for 38 seconds today. Oh. Shot goes in. So you want to start where you don't really hear any of those carrying sounds. So we pour milk into the espresso here. And then a standard pour is gonna be like, just a little heart. We'll see if you guys can do a little heart today. Nothing more complicated. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. What are you gonna pick? I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay, go. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah! So I get to choose, you go first. You know what you're supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> Spin, tamp. Uh. Whoa. So 32 seconds. I think you should do 38. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I? 32 second coffee in here. Let's see if you lose two times in a row. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. 
Oh. <laughs> you like my bird? You made a bee. It's almost the like birds a Sasquatch. The bees. No, it's a bird. There's yeah. the wing and there's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, all right, now I'm gonna taste it. Tem temperature is like cappuccino temperature. Yeah, It'll be a little bit hotter, but, but uh -huh. very drinkable. Okay. All right, I'll okay. step aside. Okay. okay. All right. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. 32, it's supposed to be on 32. Are you, is your hand shaking? Yeah, from all the coffee. <laughs> Tamp it. No, 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 you do the no. tamper. For You're supposed to do this? For oh, dude. Ooh, too hard, too hard, too hard. Auto stop, auto stop. It has the auto stop. Ooh, it's not supposed to sound like that. It's not supposed to sound like that. Make the shape, make the shape. So make tight. the heart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. All right, so I come in here and check this out. Okay. Uh, what's it look like to y'all? It's kind of like a That's cirrus That's a phoenix cloud. coming out of the, a phoenix coming nothing. out of the. Uh, the temperature is, is good. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, I think that's right on. Well, I think I'm ready. I'm Best nervous. barista in this cafe right now is Haley. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. Yay. Yay. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Yay. So I'm so happy with the outcome. You guys are very good at your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep my day job. I'll keep the day yeah. job. This is a treasure for Portland. Yeah. I mean, if, if folks get a chance to come here and actually taste the love that you put into yes. coffee, the flavor and the feel of it, I think they'll be so pleasantly, pleasantly happy once they get it. Well, so thank, thank you. you for showing us around. My favorite coffee in Portland would be Fairlane. Esperanza is my favorite coffee shop. Rose City. Dutch Bros if I'm feeling like getting coffee. Rain or shine coffee. I like going to Portland Cafe. It's on Holgate Boulevard. Upper Left Roasters. Kopi Coffee. Gotta be Papachinos. Papachinos. It's right up the street from Reed, and you'll often find other Reedies there. 